Hello, and welcome to the Museum of Westward Expansion. Today we are going to take you on an interactive journey through various exhibits. But first, an introduction to the idea of Westward Expansion itself, told through one man's story. This is Billy, and his life is about to change forever. Billy lived in Norway, and the Norwegian way of life was hardly luxurious. Overpopulation led to a shortage of food, making it difficult for the simple family of 12 to meet their own needs. Death from starvation followed, taking the lives of two of Billy's children. Life in America seemed all the more tempting. Billy, trying to keep the rest of his family safe and in good health, decided that the only logical course of action was to leave the country forever and seek refuge in America. And so, Billy's family embarked on their journey. A few weeks passed before the Yurt family landed in New York. Upon arrival, Billy realizes that, even just moments after setting foot on the soil, he has already been given the chance of a better life. In America, everyone's vote counted equally, and the Norwegian man was not distinguished from the native-born. Everyone that lived in America, regardless of their heritage, was simply an American. In New York, Billy hears of tales of an even better life in the West. It is rumored to have endless miles of practically free farmland, right for the taking. In addition, the hills out in the west were supposedly to be pregnant with gold. Billy once again looked at his family, and, in order to give them a better future, decided to venture out to the prosperous land of Oregon. Luckily, the Yurt family was not alone. Along with them traveled several bands of men and women, all with various goals and expectations of the west. Together they journeyed, despite their differences. Some of them were farmers, looking to, to take advantage of the fertile land. Others sought opportunity in the mines. Even some were outcasts from the rest of the society, desperately longing to build a community of similar individuals. However, the road was not an easy one. Sickness and hardship plagued the road ahead of them. Three more Billy's children were killed by a stampede of buffalo. This type of occurrence was all too common. Throughout the journey, men, women, and children were hurt by the nature of the West and the natives of the land. Because of this, the pioneers tended to travel in large groups. This helped them combat hostile tribes of Indians as well as scare off natural predators. However, strength in numbers could not save them from sickness. Cholera, typhoid fever, dysentery, and diphtheria and measles were just some examples of the pestilence they encountered over the course of the journey. However, they managed to trudge on and complete it, finding prosperous land in Oregon. Unfortunately, Billy never lived to see Oregon. He passed away of dysentery just miles short of their destination. Luckily, his sons had learned enough about farming from their fellow travelers to support themselves upon arrival. They started a farm and lived off their own land prosperously for many years, proving that their risk had paid off. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your visit at the Museum of Westward Expansion.